What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Battlefield 5. And today DICE uh, released the patch notes for tomorrow's update. Of course tomorrow will be June the 25th. This is a pretty good size update it seems. I'm not sure what the gigs will be just yet. But the times for everyone, no matter where you live, will be listed in these patch notes. So I will put those down in the description below if you would like to check them out for yourself. I'm going to go over the high points. I'm not going to bore you with 10 minutes of just every single detail with this update. But like I said, if you want to know the starting time for when you can expect to receive the update, definitely check these patch, patch notes out. Uh, of course, they did some fixes for like planes and tanks and bug fixes and things of that nature. Also, some changes to weapons. The uh, AT rifle magazine will now contain five plus one bullets. Of course, that's five and then one in the mag. Of course, the medium range scope now correctly shows the scope glint. Of course, they did some more changes to the medical and ammo crates. Now players that have the medical crate or the ammo crate selected can now be seen holding it in one hand when viewed in from third person. Uh, adjusted the medical crate's healing radius to 4 meters. The medical crate owner is now awarded healing score when the crates uh, kind of heal friendly players. That, uh, that kind of area around is like it was in Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. It's not that you have to go get the... Uh, help out of that case uh, you know just manually now you can just stand by it like the older games and you can get healed uh, within that certain area the same will be for ammo crate so if you run support same thing you throw the ammo crate down uh, players can stand around it within a four meter radius and get that ammo from it and you will also get the score they also can hit square on your character if they're running behind you they can just hit square of course this was added a couple weeks back but they still haven't done some tweaking to this, but they can hit square and just get ammo or health from you automatically without you having to place anything down. Of course, they did some changes to AP mines. A lot of people say these were annoying, so they've changed the explosion delay. Activation radius has been increased by 20%. Blast radius size has been increased to 7 meters from 6. Max damage and blast radius has been increased to 1.5 meters from the meter to align with activation delay. Uh, the explosion blast now occurs within an upward facing half sphere. They also say you can lay down now and it should take a lot of this explosion away. I'm not sure if that's really going to work or not. We'll have to wait and see. But the main thing is once the player dies, one second after one second after that player has died and moves to the spawn screen, that uh, mine will be disabled. It used to be if you had those thrown out until they were blown up, they stayed there. Now that is not the case anymore. Those will actually go away after your character has died once those have been placed so you'll have to reset them every time you respawn also the rifle grenade launcher got a max blast radius damage reduction from eight uh, to 80 from 100 the blast radius increased to five meters from four uh, and some of the little small things like that with the at grenade pistol and the piat launcher some of the other big things that they did do was uh, the MG-34 now apply skins properly to the magazine, improved hitbox on incendiary grenades, fixed the missing reload anim anim animation for some of the weapons, fixed an issue where the firing of the flare gun would be delayed after reload. Uh, players no longer are able to enter a bleed out stage when getting killed outside of the combat area. There's just some like simple soldier fixes. Most of the stuff in this guys is a lot of bug fixes it seems. Uh, improved the behavior of exiting the gunner seat of a tank. Uh, fixed issues where the de detection of explosions and incendiary damage on soldiers when, would be larger than the size of the soldier in multiple uh, multiple stances. Did a lot of fixes with the maps and the modes. Fixed an issue which caused the near end of round music to play during the entire round. Like I said, guys, it's a lot of bug fixes. There's a lot of things in here that have been going on for a while that luckily they are finally getting to. But sometimes I kind of wonder why it took them so long to get to it. Also, they did some mode and map changes that after looking at Team Deathmatch, they made the decision to change layouts of a few on a few maps. Of course, they made some changes to uh, Aerodome, Devastation. Uh, they did some changes with the front line. Uh, they said for this patch, they also looked at front lines is one of the more tactical medium scale modes, bringing very interesting dynamic rounds as teams shift between attacking and defending. Many of you voiced concerns and feedback about the mode. You know who you are. That's kind of what they say, and which has been very helpful. So they changed some things with round length, uh, objective ping pong, accessibilities, and vehicle spawning. They also, the round length, I kind of wish they would done, have done for uh, some things, like maybe about the conquest. Sometimes I feel like the round length and conquest is a bit too long, but they have not changed that yet. Of course, they had some stability fixes, a couple of just things, real bug fixes for just 
Xbox One and PS4 specific. Nothing real big, like a added manual lane hold toggle button on, on PS4 and on Xbox. So nothing too big with that. Well, like I said, guys, most of this is stability improvements, UI improvement, HUD option changes. It was not a lot of, uh, of things that I was hoping it would be, but a lot of this stuff has been ongoing issues for a while. So hopefully that gave you some info about it. Like I said, if you want to check it all out, look down in the description below and you can check out those patch notes. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'll catch you next time. Peace.